Hey guys, welcome to my channel where at this point I talk about all kinds of random stuff from business to real estate to cars. But this video is very specific. It's about how to turn off the nannies on your GX470 specifically, um, also your Gen 3 Forerunners, and I believe your Gen 4 Forerunners without having to do any sort of modifications. It's as easy as pulling out a plug underneath the hood of your vehicle. That's right, your dash can look like this without having to do any sort of wiring modification. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, I do not guarantee this is safe. I don't guarantee this is going to be okay for your car, I definitely recommend you do your own research and don't take my word for any of this as I'm not the smartest guy when it comes to cars. I don't work on them every day. This is just something I knew about my 2002 Forerunner, um, which I had found on a forum somewhere and then decided to try it on my GX470. And I actually couldn't find any sort of confirmation. So I sort of did it on a whim and it happened to work. Now I will mention that when I had my 2002 Forerunner and I pulled this plug, I had left it out for an extended period of time because I just enjoyed driving without all the nannies on much better as even on some gravel surfaces and just slightly slippery areas, it would cut all of the power to my tires. And it actually felt way less safe to drive with those nannies on than to just have them off. Anyway, when I had them off for an extended period of time and I went to plug it back in, it did take the system, I believe, a couple times of me turning on and off my car to remember that all those nannies uh, needed to come back on and all the dash lights uh, to go off, which it did. And it seems to be working on this car as well. So um, with that, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things then we're gonna get right to it. It's super simple, super quick. So first off, I just wanna note that in my 2005 GX470, and I really have no guarantees on other years, I know that 2005 is when, uh, it was either 2004 or 2005 when they upgraded the engine on the GX470s, and I'm not sure if they did any sort of electrical modifications, but you'll see the VSC track off, uh, VSC off uh, the car with the squiggly lines, and then you'll also see the parking brake uh, up there, which is actually a false light. As you can see, my parking brake is not set. And when I do have this plugged in underneath the hood, it does not show that my parking brake is on. So I believe it has to do with this cable. Now, I just realized I forgot my tripod, so I'm not gonna be able to make this look as awesome as I wanted to. But um, you will see right there, this is the cable. This cable right in front here is the one that you're gonna want to unplug. And you'll see right now, looks like it's plugged in, it's not actually. Um, so I'm gonna take these plastics off just so you can get a little better idea of what it looks like and then uh, show you again. And of course, in doing that, I just dropped one of the stupid Lexus plastic clips. So I'm gonna find that real quick. Found both the pieces again. This is what the cable looks like and you can reach this with the plastics on it's just a little hard to see exactly what you're doing and you'll see the wires here are white and green and i believe when i did it on my forerunner it's a slightly different shaped but i know it's on the front of the uh, i believe this is called the master brake cylinder and i, I think it might have been more of like a circular slash triangular uh, type of cable but just to show you i'm gonna plug this in i'm gonna plug that in and then we start up my car real quick. I think I left my keys in there. Good. So, just plugged it back in. I've had it off for a while, for a couple of days at least. So you can see all the nannies are now back on. If I pull my brake, my brake works fine. All right, turn it off. Get out. I'm going to unplug this. Get back in. And we'll see, turn it back on. Nanny stay on, start the car. Oh, there they go, yep. So as you can see, that's all you gotta do. Again, it shows here that the brake is on, but the brake is not on. And also 
on the 2002 Forerunner, I remember that it would show ABS off, and I can't remember, you'll have to verify for yourself whether or not it actually turns off ABS or doesn't. In my car, it seems as though it does not turn off ABS when you do this. Also, here's the GX I just purchased. It's a 2005, has about 173,000 miles, and I picked it up for $9,000, which seemed like a pretty good deal to me, considering uh, how good the maintenance records were and how great a shape uh, the body was in, and it also included a set of studded tires. But if you want me to do a quick video too on what to look for in a GX470, just as far as what I know, and to do a car review on my car, please leave a comment, let me know. Like I said, this is a really quick, easy, and reversible solution. It's been the best way for me at this point to actually have some fun, both with my 2002 Forerunner and now with this GX. It's a lot of fun personally to get it sideways in the snow, and also in general, I feel like it's a lot safer because if power is cut when it's most important, that's really gonna throw you off. It could actually set you into a more dangerous situation. If this has been helpful though, please hit the like button and also drop your comments below with uh, your GX470 tips uh, if you have them. Also, if you happen to know uh, the easiest way to actually tap into the wiring and put in your own traction control off switch for the inside of your cab, feel free to drop a link to that as well because it is something I'm considering in the future, just something I haven't made the plunge on quite yet. So the main thing you're gonna notice when you turn this off is that when you hit the gas in the snow, it doesn't just cut you off like it did before. You won't hear the tick, 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 tick. It kind of, uh, it lets you rev it out further. It still feels like there's something that limits me once I get past a certain point. And I don't know what that is because sometimes I feel it kick in and other times I don't, but it kind of like slows the engine a little bit but you don't get the hard stop of power and you can definitely get it sideways and have some fun in the snow, which is awesome. And I should say, you have to push it pretty darn hard to have it start reducing engine power. And again, I don't totally know what that's about. I played with it in the snow a few times at this point. I hadn't really noticed before. This is the first time that I've really noticed something and it's not the normal traction control, um, but I don't have a big enough open area to go and just rail on it and play and kind of figure it out. But uh, yeah, I hope this helps for now. If I figure out what else is going on, I'll let you know. Or if you know, shoot it in the comments.